Oh, all right. Well, we better start now before someone tries to do it. So I've already done a lot of practice for this. I usually get somewhere between 18 and 19 minutes. So let us go. I'm doing the whole thing as Toad. And three, two, one, go. First level is this pipe one right here. A uh, little trick is to select Toad right at the start and that can actually speed up the loading process. So we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this pipe, gonna run across, then we're gonna go ahead and go in this pipe. It is quicker to go on top of them, but I am not good at doing it, and so I'm just gonna go in. Like I think I said, I am not great at this game, but I've been practicing this run, so it shouldn't be like a total disappointment. It should still be entertaining. Alright, there's a trick where you can run on top of this pipe and it goes faster. It's very scary though, because Toad is hard to control with his speed. So like, if you miss the pipe, you're dead. And also, I'm gonna try not to die, because the plan is to keep these cat suits for the entire run because they make it so much easier. But I'll probably die sometimes, I don't think I've had a run where I haven't died. So that's what the backup cat suit is for. And then also there are some levels in here where we can get more cat suits. Ow! There we go. There is a death. Well, I guess not a death, we just lost a cat suit. Yeah, these pipes can sometimes be uh, infuriating, especially if they don't like read your inputs on what direction you're going in. Uh, do you know cat momentum vectoring? I know about it, but I have not practiced enough to do it. So uh, we're just doing this, we're just gonna run around as Toad. Like I said, I am not really good at this. I'm just doing my best, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna get world record. Cat Momentum is a tad bit useless. Yeah, okay, I did hear that Cat Momentum was like how they sped run back in Wii U, but I guess that's not really applicable in Switch anymore. I think vectoring's the big new theme now. Uh, Jack Turner says, I dare you to scream. Ah! There you go. It wasn't like a real scream, but I didn't, I, I don't have the energy to do a real scream right now. All right, let's get the cat suit because it's very important for this level right here. This is probably the hardest level on the whole run, just because it's so, ooh, it's so rickety. Ugh. And also these bullies, they can bounce you off the stage real easily. Alright, I'm gonna grab a fire flower here, because I don't have a backup cat suit. And it's better to have something than nothing, especially for this later part. If we do a little run around as a cat, we can jump around here. And we skip going inside the pirate ship, and we can just go straight on. Saves us some time. Oh, we can ignore the boo. Alright, now this is the hard part, and I'm probably going to switch to the Fire Flower for it. Because getting these bullies off can be a pain, especially if they bounce you off before you can bounce them off. And also there's two of them, so while you're trying to get rid of one, the other one can get you. Oh, hey! Uh, come on, come on. Hey, that was actually pretty quick. Usually, it takes me much longer. And hey, what do you know? That level went pretty smoothly. I'm actually surprised, that one usually gives me a lot of trouble. Uh, z -Rise says, do I have 3D All-Stars? I actually do! I mainly bought it for Galaxy, even though I already have it on the Wii, but I just really- Oh hey, that was my best time on this level! Impressive! But yeah, no, I mainly bought it for Galaxy to replay it in HD, and oh, I loved it. I love Galaxy so much. I really want to put- oh wait, why did I switch? No, I I'm not supposed to switch. I really wanted to uh, get, oh, what was it called? I wanted to get it for Sunshine, because I've never played Sunshine before, but I've, I've actually never touched Sunshine. Like, it's just sitting there. I have a full Mario game I can play whenever I want, and it's just, I, I've never gotten around to it. I don't know why. All right, so this level, we open the doors with our pointer, so we're kind of having to do some double action here. I have to control Toad and the pointer at the same time. And bang this gong for some coins. Just open all the doors as they come by, and here's our box, and we go in. Alright, and then on this part we don't really need the pointer anymore, because we can just grab one of these boxes and fly away! And there's a skip too, because usually you're supposed to grab all these key coins and go inside the building again. But what we can do is if you fly up here, look at that, there's the flagpole, and we can just win the level! Look at that! And that saves us a lot of time. Right now my phone's saying we are at 4 minutes and 14 seconds, which is really good time. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up somewhere between 18 and 19 minutes. Hey, new record on that level too! We're doing really good, haha. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. We have to get this pipe. Because when I say clear every level in this place, I mean every level. Even these little boss fights. So there's a little fire bro fight in here we have to do. 
It only takes like 10 seconds, it's very easy. But we have to do it to, in order to, you know, actually complete the world. We just gotta kill this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and uh, that guy. See, that was easy. We just had to, you know, remember to do it. Because if I forgot to do it, oh, I, I couldn't submit this run and that would be sad. Apologies if I don't read chat a lot, it's just, you know, I gotta focus, get into my speedrunner gamer mode. Hey, Paddler, nice to see you here. Yes, I'm streaming. We are doing a world record speedrun of World 6. And the thing is, no one's done it before, so no matter how I do, I get the record. Yay. All right, I'm gonna grab an extra cat suit here since we lost one back in the first level. Ah. All right, and this one's a little tricky because, oh, oh no, because of that. Because it's all very precise and you can fall in the acid and that's no good. But the good news is we can just get another cat suit. I like it. You can just get infinite cat suits in this level. All right. Ooh. So yeah, this level's a little scary just with all the precise jumps you have to do, but it's manageable. Oh no. We, uh, <laughs> now we're gonna have to grab the trapeze. Am I gonna submit this? Yes, that's the plan. I made a speedrun account uh, this morning, and I wanna submit it so I can, you know, actually have the record. Alright, we're gonna go slow here a little bit so we can get another cat suit, because I really want a cat suit, you know, an extra one as a backup, because doing this level without a cat suit is pain. <laughs> uh oh. Couldn't make the jump, we made the jump, oh yeah. All right, now this is the boring part of the level. Like, we basically beat it. We just have to wait on this log until we reach the waterfall. And there's nothing we can do to speed this up. We just have to sit here. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Oh, Franklin says it's just World 6. Yeah, that's the point. No, I cannot do a full game speed run. That's like, way too dominated by other competition. The reason I'm doing just World 6 is because no one's done it before. Which means no matter how I do, I get the record. And I'm going to submit this to speedrun.com when I am done, and my name will be there. And until someone realizes that they forgot to do World 6, I will be the world record holder. Didn't he leave Scratch? Uh, no, I never left Scratch. I'm just not as active on it, that's all. I don't have any projects planned for the future either. I basically just check comments and stuff and, you know, look at what other people are making. Have I ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? Uh, no. Horror games aren't really my thing. I don't like spooky stuff. Alright, this is a really easy boss fight because you just have to knock him in a pipe. And basically you just stand here, hit him left a lot, and then that's it. It's very easy. Yeah. Ooh, Jack Turn says do another Hunger Games simulator. I would actually really love to. For some reason that video has just like been caught in the algorithm lately and it's getting a lot of views, which I mean, I'll take it, but I made it two years ago. Why is it getting popular now? Yeah, I would love to do another Hunger Games video. That was a lot of fun. All right, now we go to the fifth level, which is this cloud one. And basically we just have to go fast enough to where these things don't blow us off the face of the earth. And also we have these guys, which are really annoying to deal with, because if they hit you, you lose a cat suit. Alright. Oh, run, 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 run. Whoa, we got really good timing on that. We didn't have to stop at all. You usually have to stop at that part and wait for them to be, like, done blowing. But we made it through all the way. That's nice. Alright, jump over the Goombas. Look at little, look at Toad. He's, like, twirling on the ice. He has the dancer blood in him. Alright, I'm gonna wait... I want him to be done blowing. Alright, let's go. There! Yeah. Oh yes, good, I dodged it. Save the cat suit, nice. That's the goal. You cannot lose the cat suit. It is vital for this run. And there we go! Uh, the blowy level is done. I don't know what they're actually called. This is just the blowy level. I you one uh Cat is Savage, welcome. Uh I 100 percent of the Wii U version a few years ago. I'm almost done uh, hundred percenting this one, but I have not beaten Champions Road because that level is so hard. Ah An early good job for me, I have to leave. Okay, bye Tron. Thank you for coming. I will have the uh, replay of this full run 
eventually whenever I finish it. Alright, we can get a cat suit here if needed, but right now we have two, so we're good. But if we leave us a cat suit on this level, we're fine, because we can get more. And this is a really easy level, you just do a lot of climbing. We do a little skip here. Yeah, you know, we're just bouncing some clouds. Wait, why did I do that jump? That wasn't necessary. Yeah. We climb up here. Now we gotta climb sideways. Oh no, I'm about to fall. No, no, no. Oh, barely made it. And there's the flag. Pretty easy level. Whoops, I climbed to the top. Oh well, it's fine. It's not a stream killer. Bye, Festa Man. Thank you for coming. Lots of preparing. Yeah, I assume. That's why I haven't beaten it. I don't have time. Whoa, new record on that level. Nice. I'm getting a new record on a lot of levels, which is good because I'm trying to stream it, you know, uh, speed run it. I did a lot of practice beforehand, so it's good I'm getting the records now because, you know, this is the one I'm submitting. Okay, this level's an auto-scroller, so there's not a ton we can do to speed it up, but there are instances here and there where we actually can, so we still want to make sure we're near the top of the screen. Because sometimes if you're near the top, you can actually speed up the auto-scroll. But they're like only certain moments. In this one, you kind of just have to memorize the level so you know like what you're walking into. Because, you know, it's kind of hard to see up there, and you might just run into something you don't want to run into. In single player, this level isn't too hard, but like in multiplayer, I feel like this level would just like kill you. Okay, there's a spot where we can speed up the auto scrolling, like you just saw there. The camera just did a quick cut. Hit the power block to get rid of that Goomba. Steel is coin too, why not? Alright, we can speed up the camera here. Nice. See if we can climb up here. Oh yes! Oh whoa, whoa whoops! All right, I sped up the camera, but I didn't actually make it up. Uh, let's uh, no! Ah! What is happening? Oh no! Uh, this is not really helping. Ah! All right, so we lost a little bit of time there, but it's fine. I mean, again, it doesn't matter if I mess up because I'm getting world record. And also, I did get a new best time on like three of the old levels, so I think that'll make it up. It's all gonna balance out. My timer's saying we we're at 12 minutes and 34 seconds, which is pretty good. Usually I want to get to the castle around uh, 14 minutes. But we can't go to the castle yet, because there is one more thing we have to do. There is a mystery house in here. And again, we have to beat every level, so this mystery house is in our run. And this mystery house is very easy, I'll show you. There's a lot of baseballs in this one. So for this one, you just jump, throw, that's it. And now we're gonna bring out the pointer, because the pointer can actually cheat. You just grab this ball, bang, we're done. I love cheating. And that one's pretty simple. Now we can use the pointer again. Uh, wait, where'd the pointer go? Bang, look at that, we don't even have to throw anything. And this one, Bing, bang, boom. Look at that. Look at that. The pointer can help you skip a lot of the throwing. So that one's pretty easy. Alright, and now we can go to the castle. And right now we're at 13 minutes and 42 seconds, which is good. We're getting to the castle right about the right time. And this one's another auto-scroller, and it's really annoying. I hate this level. It's not as bad as the pirate ship, but it's still annoying. Just cause like, you just have to sit here and wait a lot of the time. And like, there's a lot of scary obstacles. The cat suit's not required to beat this one, but I want to save them because it makes the next boss a lot easier if you have a cat suit. It's possible without one, but it makes it a lot easier if you have it. I'm gonna be staying on the top right of the screen most of the time, just like, you know, just keep up with the tanks, but me staying here is not really gonna speed it up. There's only one part of this level where you can speed it up by staying near the front. Boop. I love that. I just like get to hop on top of the hammer bro and just boop him. 
I avoid most of the enemies just so you know I don't have an accidental run in and lose a power up, but I like booping that one hammer bro just for fun. I also kill that hammer bro. I uh, actually not a, it's a ham a fire bro. You probably didn't even see it, but I like killing him so he doesn't kill me. Alright, this is the part where you can save a little time by going fast. If you get past this little mini cart here, then there's another mini cart if you jump past that one. Uh, and we can uh, skip. There we go. Skipped a little bit right there. Very helpful. Uh, in this part, there's just everyone shooting everything at you, and it's really stressful. Alright. Oh no, I lost the cat suit. Uh oh. Well, it's fine. It's fine. We still have another one. We're good. We have a spare. And I do not think we're going to be losing anything from the boom boom fight. This boom boom fight is so easy. Look at this. Just bonk him. Oh no, I died. Well, I didn't die. I just lost a life. What is going on? Usually boom boom's easy. Okay, let me go ahead and take the cat bell so I don't die on this part. Because we'll have to start all the way at the beginning and that would basically kill the run. Alright, jump on him again. You know, boom boom's usually easy. Why did I miss that first jump? Alright, and bang! Cool, cool, cool! We beat Boom Boom! Now you might think the street, the run's almost over, but that's not true. There's actually one more boss we have to beat after this one. There's a carnival level, and we have to beat every level. So even though this is technically the last one... Uh-oh. I didn't mean to climb the pole. Oh well. Anyway, so this looks like it's the last level, but it's not. We have one more left. And it's pretty simple, especially because we have a cat suit. The cat suit makes this next level very easy. It's just a boss fight. Hello, little big newbie. Ooh, is that a reference to Little Big Planet? I love that game. All right, up here. Here you go. This is the last level. Once we beat this one, we can call time. Right now, our timer is almost at 17 minutes. So I think we'll, we'll do good. This is good. This is a good run. All right, final boss, baby. One boss away from world record. There he is. One, two, three. Swipe, 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 swipe. Got him. All right, I want to make sure I have a double cherry because it's almost like an extra life, but I don't want too many because then it gets too confusing. One, two, three, four, and five. Swipe, 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 swipe. There we go. Oh, we have three cat suits. I didn't mean to grab that one, but... Alright, seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven! Swipe, 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 swipe! We got him! Look at that, guys! Alright, we can't call time yet, because you have to get to the flagpole. Everyone in. Everyone in the pipe. Alright, once we get that flagpole, we can call time. Once, you know, Toad's settled in on it. All right, go, 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 go. Any of you touched it? Any of you? One, two, three, time! 1803, baby! Woohoo! World record run! Yeah! Ha ha! World record! Yes! Look at that, guys. We just made history. According to my phone, that was 18 minutes and three seconds, but that might not be accurate. I'll retime it once I edit the video. And look at that. Yeah, we did it.